Let's talk about which patients actually need surgery for lumbar spinal stenosis. The first indication would be if you have weakness in a muscle group. This could be in your quadricep muscle, so it's buckling on you. If your foot is weak, so you can't lift it up and you're tripping over things, that's called foot drop. Those are huge indications for uh, needing surgery because that muscle weakness is going to not improve if you don't take care of it. It also could lead to worse injuries. If your leg's buckling on you, you can fall down and break bones. If your foot won't pick up, you can trip over things and you might break bones. Muscle weakness is a good indication for spine surgery. Another indication are those that did not get better with non-operative treatment. In another video, I really address what non-operative treatment is. This could be injections with a pain management doctor that the surgeon dictates what they are. Could be some manipulation of the back, stretching, physical therapy, rehabilitation. It could be certain drugs such as a medrol dose pack, non-narcotics, anti-inflammatories. These are really things to try to buy us time to calm down the inflammation that's associated with the pinched nerves, the pinched spinal canal. If you don't have the weakness and we can try to buy some time to make it calm down, to make surgery the last resort, those are things you should do first. If those haven't worked after a certain time period, that's when surgery is indicated. Surgery has the most favorable results in the high 90s in terms of success rate in the following things. Those that failed non-surgical treatment options, those that have shooting down pain. So it could be in the butt and the thigh, things that kind of travel down because that indicates there's a pinched nerve. And pinched nerves, to have them fixed, you just have to take the pressure off of them. And that's just shaving some bone off, removing some tissue, removing some disc herniation. Those are all extremely favorable outcomes because the diagnosis is very clear. And those are when patients do extremely well from spine surgery.